So this question was asked in year 2014, and it is a very simple question based on pointers. Okay. So uh, in this question, what they have done is they have given a variable i, and they have stored the address of this variable i into pi. Okay. So this is let us suppose this is the variable i. Okay, and the address of this variable i is one thousand. Okay, and then they have stored the address of this variable i into this pi, and pi is a pointer. So let us suppose this is pi, and it is a pointer. So they have stored here in this line. They have stored the address of i into pi. So pi will store one thousand. Okay, now in the scanner statement, instead of giving address of i, they have given pi. Okay, so what is a classical uh, scanner statement? In, in most of the program, we use scanf something like this: scanf percentage d or whatever the type of data variable is, comma m percent i or whatever variable uh, for which we are taking the value. So in the scanf statement, we take the address of the variable for which we have to take the value for which we have to take the value from the user. Okay, so in all the cases, whenever we do a scanf statement, in the scanf statement we pass the address of the variables. Okay, so what do we pass? We pass the address of the variable. So here in this case, we are doing scanf percentage d comma pi, and what is pi? Pi is a pointer which is pointing to a variable, and the value stored by pi is an address, right? So if we call this scanf statement. Then this scanner uh, in, in this scanner statement, this pi will pass the address of this variable i. So this is a valid statement. Okay. So this is a valid statement. Therefore, in the next, uh, this will pass the address of i. So in the next statement, we have printf percentage d comma i plus one. Okay. So that means whatever the value of i which we have taken from the user, we are going to add five into that value. Okay. Now consider the options. In the option number one, compilation fails. No, uh, uh, there will not be any compilation fail here. So this will program will execute correctly. In the option number two, execution results in runtime error. Okay, so execution results in runtime error. No, it, uh, this execution will not result in runtime error. Okay. In option number C, on execution, the printer uh, the value printed in is five more than the address of variable i. No. This will not be the case. Why? Because in the scanf statement, we already we all we pass the address of the variable, and whatever the ad, uh, address we passed for a variable, we take the value in that particular address, right? So whenever we print the value, then it does not print the address; it prints the value stored at that location. Okay. And the option number D, on execution, the value printed is five more than. The integer value entered, right? So this is the correct option, right? For example, if the user entered here nine, uh, then when we print the value, then this will print nine plus five as fourteen. Okay, so this option number D is correct.